What is up everybody? We're currently now at the top of a, a, a downhill track. It's super steep. Cameras don't really pick up the steepness of it, but um, super steep, pretty much like the fr like back brakes on the whole time. So it should be fun. It, lo it loops into a downhill track. We have to ride back up the downhill track, but we're gonna go and hit it and it should be good. Enjoy. Everyone, we're making our way back on down. So starting off with that mega steep loma with the big boulders. Um, guess we've got nice and high. I felt pretty comfortable few sketchiest sections but there are some couple of jumps and I mean not jumps but like drops and stuff otherwise though that felt pretty decent not gonna cap okay way back this is chunky tech No cap. Woo. Okay, so this is a track I used to ride all the time. You've got some gnarly bits of tech here, big rocks, little staircase drop at the, the very top there. There's the steed I'm on today. Come down here. Again, you've got some more rocks, some more tech. It gets quite narrow here when you're on the bike come down you want to stay out of this rut to the right here you want to really stay high on the left to get a good departure angle just out there if you come in the right you're going to go the rut's going to catch your front tire and make you go straight and it's going to have to do more counter steering to get you back on out to the flat turn so stay up nice and high on this bank again over some rocks and tech watching out on the sides of the track for, for debris and stuff as you come further down this is mega overgrown look at this it is wild. I've never been to a mountain bike track this overgrown where the, where the track's pretty much just grass. Here's super technical actually, although it's not steep, well, I mean it's fairly steep actually. Lots and lots of rocks. And why is that technical you might ask? Well the main reason is punctures, the way it changes. Well not necessarily even punctures, just the way it changes tire lines. Sharp rocks like that there. Or in here, you want to kind of have a nice direct line. Even with a direct line, you're hitting sharp rocks like that. Well, that can just create a, a nasty bit of chatter on the back wheel. Again, watching out for these rocks, trying to go high here. Coming down now. It's actually a fairly steep and, and far section of track. Maybe 30 k's an hour, I'd say. Here, you want to set up nice and high around this corner. Because if you go too low, you're risking hitting your, your handlebar into that tree. And the other thing you're risking, if it's not that, is to go straight. Whereas if you set up nice and high, there's less handlebar risk, and you're also set up on a nice angle to get out. You can actually uh, see my my tire print that's just there. Come down. I'm actually really quite cautious of snakes and lizards today, to be honest. Come down. You want to watch out for this root on the egg exit of the turn, because that there, like I said, if you go straight from that corner, set up nice and wide here, you're gonna maybe potentially get that root. So, if you set up high, what you can do, you can come and then get a nice low line, or high line here. And that high line will then set you up very nicely for this section. You've got really loose rocks, leaves, twigs, debris. And this is the section I just can't believe how overgrown it is. This used to be a, a full berm, just here. This is it now. Whew. That's one overgrown trail. Wow. But yeah, here, set up nice and high. If you go too low, yeah, you're losing a lot of speed that you could be using the berm for. These, these, these grasses are taller than me. This is terrifying. Anyway, come down here. You guys know the rest of the track. It's all pretty straightforward from there, but I just cannot believe how overgrown this section is. It's insane. Well, that was nice. Ooh. 
That was so good.